Hello everybody. One of the most used terms in the blockchain space with relevance to scalability is blockchain layers. So today I'll be discussing the differences between layer ones and layer twos. Understanding these layers is crucial for anyone in the blockchain ecosystem. So let's dive right in. All right, so the reason we even have these layers is because of scalability. So this is the side effect of popularity. So first let's talk blockchain. A blockchain is a decentralized digital ledger maintained by independent nodes, each verifying and recording transactions in an unchangeable chain. They of it as a busy highway where each car is a transaction and each node is a toll booth. So when blockchains like Bitcoin become popular, they're faced with basically traffic jams, which slow down transactions to 10 minutes or more. So to fix these network congestion issues, scalability solutions are introduced. This is why we have different layers. Imagine these as adding more lanes or creating express routes. Some of these lanes offload transactions to side roads and some upgrade the main highway, also known as the base layer. So this main highway, this base layer is the layer one. This is where all the transactions are processed. Bitcoin and Ethereum are two of the most popular layer ones. And a layer two, commonly known as an L2, is like an express route built on top of the layer one. They make transactions cheaper and faster, but they don't change the base layer, the layer one. These optimize blockchain efficiency. So what are some more differences between layer ones and layer twos? Layer one blockchains like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Core Chain are the foundational networks responsible for the core functions such as consensus mechanisms, transaction validation, and block creation. They handle everything from transaction processing to smart contract execution, but as they grow, they face scalability issues resulting in slower transaction times and higher fees. So the layer two solutions are built on top of the layer ones to increase transaction speed, reduce costs, and not even change layer one. For example, the Lightning Network is a layer Layer 2 solution for Bitcoin. So how do Layer 1 and Layer 2 interact? Layer 1 and Layer 2 work together to enhance the overall efficiency of the blockchain system. While Layer 1 provides the secure and decentralized foundation, Layer 2 offers the scalability and speed necessary for mass adoption. This synergy allows for the support of complex and high value applications to be built and operated, paving the way for mainstream blockchain adoption. So now a little bit about Core, is it an L1 or an L2? Core operates as a Layer 1 blockchain, serving as the foundational layer for consensus mechanism, transaction processing, and smart contract execution within its ecosystem. However, it's designed to be the most Bitcoin aligned layer one, which means it provides better utility cases for the Bitcoin assets, provides interoperability for Bitcoin across different chains, unlocks opportunities to Bitcoin holders to participate in the BTC file landscape, and provides a source of passive income for the Bitcoin miners. So yeah, that's a quick rundown on the differences between layer one and layer two and how they work together to make the blockchain ecosystem better overall. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to learn more about crypto, please subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next video.